Hi students and welcome back and in this tutorial we're going to discuss how to cut and copy and what is the difference between what kind of pastes can we do. So it's cut, copy and pasting that we're going to do in this tutorial. So first of all, before we start, we are going to do power break 6.2.14 but before we start, we first need to know a little bit more about cut, copy and pasting. So under the home tab, you will find your clipboard group and over here you will be able to cut copy and paste all right and paste as i mentioned this has some special features that we can also use but the basic one is just as good so first of all here we have a little piece uh, a small paragraph and this paragraph is typed in korean new size 12 and there's also a link a hyperlink added here all right so when we're going to discuss let's discuss copy first if i want to copy this text let's say for example i want to copy this text to another document a blank page but this particular page the font is copper plate gothic and the size is size 20. so i want to copy this text that's typed in Korean new size 12 with a hyperlink I want to copy to this page for example how what changes can I expect to happen first of all if I select this text and I go and I click on copy what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate text that's in front of me on a different in a different location in a different document okay my original documents text will not disappear i'm just going to make a copy of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first select this information and then i'm going to click copy i'm going to go to the to a different document and i'm going to paste that information so it made an exact copy of the original document exactly the same okay so I'm gonna just undo the space that I did remember copy plate size 20 but now I want to explore cut what would cut mean all right cut means that you are actually physically removing the text from its original location so if i select cut the text disappears because you physically you are taking it away so that you can replace it or move it to a different location so you're gonna paste all right so your text is now in a different location and it's no longer in its original location that is the difference between cut and copy copy you leave the original text where it is and you just make another copy of it somewhere else cut means that you are removing the text from its original location because you want to move it to a different location all right so i'm going to just quickly undo all right cool now it's back and i'm going to undo this as well because now I'm going to explain to you the different types of pasting that we get. So if I select this text and I'm going to copy, I can also just right click on the selected text and I also have cut and copy functions in my shortcut menu. But when I look at my paste options, same over here, if I click on the little arrow, I have paste options. So, if I look at my paste options, the first option specifies keep source formatting. The second option specifies merge formatting. And the third option specifies keep text only. All right, what is the difference? If I copy this text to my other document, and remember, this document is copper plate size 20. If I 
paste if I go if I click on if I click right click and I want to paste I will notice that I have four options what is the difference between or what are the difference between these four options so first of all we have our first option that specifies use destination theme and you will notice that the starting a business heading for the person starting a small business paragraph there isn't a space between it but originally in my first document there is a open space so what this implies is if you're going to paste using the first option you are going to use the destinations theme in other words this new blank document the line spacing is different and if you paste this information it's going to take on the attributes of the new of the new blank document all right so don't expect a space because you didn't specify a space the second option is keep source formatting and as you can see there's now a space in other words keep source formatting in other words the source it will copy exactly how the original looked from the source where it came from so this second option is actually the best option to use if you're ever unsure on which option to choose the third option specifies merge formatting and this time i want to remind you guys remember this new blank documents font was copper plate and the size was 20 so merge formatting implies the new the information that you are now pasting into this document will take on the attributes of the document so if the font is different if the font is different in the new document what you're going to paste will then also look like the font in the new document and then the last option says keep text only and if i just go back quickly you will see that i still when i when i pasted i still had my hyperlink active but when i moved to keeps text only in other words the hyperlink disappeared because this option only copies the text so it doesn't matter what your original document or text looked like if there was links or pictures or formatting it will be it will not be included in the in the last option so those are the four different paste options that you get before we go remember you also have the you have the clipboard option and in the clipboard option if you go into the group launcher under clipboard it will show you everything that you have done so far so at this particular instance we've just pasted and you can even clear that because everything that you've done will appear on your clipboard so if i for example if i copy this you see it tells me what i have copied if i yeah if i first must select the information if i cut this it will show me what i have done so basically your clipboard also shows you what you have done so you can always go back to your clipboard if you get confused about what you have actually done you can go and trace it back what did you copy and what did you paste and where did you paste it to so thank you students for watching and in the next video i'm going to physically do power break 6.14 with you